welcome back to my channel hope everybody has been doing well in today's video I'm going to share with you the ultimate summer handbag and it is from a Mary so Mary recently reached out to me and see if I wanted to try one of the handbags so I took a look at their collection and I was really interested in their handbag so I wanted to come up here to share with you the one that I got and my honest opinion of what I think about them and if you've been following me for a while now you know that I love handbags so I share so so many handbags on this channel however this is a new one for me so the handbag that I picked out is in here it came in this really cute little canvas material dust bag like so in a cream color and then it has the black drawstrings and I just have to open it like this and here we go da, 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 da. this is the bag that i chose it is called the aria bag and this bag is made out of atacras and i believe atacras is found in the uh, volcano hills or volcano region of the bali area indonesia and basically it is a really really strong moisture resistant and very durable grass that they use to hand weave and make this bag right here as you can see look at the detail in it it is super super adorable and the thing that i love most about it is so lightweight so it is the ultimate summer handbag because now I can take this everywhere and I don't have to worry about it weighing me down when I run errands, go on picnics, go to the beach. So that is a really, really cool thing. So before we start, let's talk about the dimension of this bag. This bag measures around 8 and 5 8 um, inches long and then it is around 5 and 3 4 inches in height and the depth is around 3 and one fourth inches isn't this super super adorable and the strap drop i believe is around 22 inches long and it is made out of leather this really nice tan patina color leather right here that you can see and this bag has a really cute little bow closure right here which is handmade also so this bag is entirely handmade and i just love love the quality and the story behind uh, these bags that all of these are made from the indonesian artisans is so special to me it just makes it more personal um, when you know that somebody personally hand weaved all of these lines and these um uh, intricate designs here for you so that is one of the reason why I love this brand and so this is what it looks like it has this little bolt closure like I said all you need to do is pull this back and it will open the top and then once you open the top inside it is lined with this really really cute little print um, cloth interior like so and then it has their brand right there that says Amiri and then this is what it looks like at the bottom of of the bag just a big open space and then in the back it just has this cute little design here also that matches with the front design and then it has I don't know if you can see it from the camera it has nice little small weaves here and then it goes into bigger chunks weaving right there and then they also added some color in it and this is what it looks like at the bottom and then on the side and on the side it has these little intricate um, designs hooks that holds on to the leather straps on the side right there so like I said, this bag is made out of Atagrass and Atagrass is a very strong, durable and moisture resistant material that was used to make this bag. But on Ameri.com website, they have so many different styles and different sizes of handbags that are made out of either Atagrass or Rattan, which is also another durable natural material bag um, or to make the bags anyway so I definitely urge you to check it out if you are still looking for a very light very natural looking handbag a vintage style for the summertime very lightweight and you can definitely carry a lot of things in it because it's quite roomy especially for this size right here so you can just run around and be very comfortable all day because it doesn't weigh you down at all so this style right here is 
super super cute if I wanted to I guess I could wear it as a clutch and just tuck the straps on the inside however I definitely quite enjoy the look right now and I think this strap right here is a little bit too long for my body so I am going to later on uh, tie the top portion off a little bit and then maybe tie the scarf around it i will show you a little bit later how i do that and i'm definitely going to do that because i don't like my um bags to hang too low at the lower part of my hips i don't know i'm kind of picky in that way because i am petite i like my bags to drop at a certain level okay so now it's time to test to see what can fit in this bag to see if this is a good size for you guys or not so i'm going to put some of the things i have here into this bag so we can see if this is a good size for us the first one i have is just a regular wallet this is my regular wallet i hardly ever carry it around but definitely it fits inside and then I have my key ring right here that I always carry with me everywhere I go of course because I need to drive <laughs> and then I have the uh, makeup compact that I carry around with me also and then just a little bit of a, a hand sanitizer for those emergency situations and then I have my phone right here with me so let me put this in here Alright, so this is what it looks like with all the items that I put in there. My wallet, my keychain, my phone, my little hand sanitizer, and my makeup compact. And you can see it still has a little bit of space left. So on top here you can put maybe a pair of sunglasses or something like that. And then you can close it. And this is what it looks like. So if it's a decent amount of things in here and the back itself is still quite light so it's not that heavy and very durable of course so this is still a good size for me to tote around of course on days when i feel like i don't want to take a lot of stuff up with me then i don't need to usually in my bag i only carry a few things right here and maybe a little bit of a blush and then i'll put my little uh, lip balm inside as well so yeah this is about what I normally would carry around and as you can see it still has a lot of room and this is why I love this bag is it gives you the versatility of carrying a lot of things in there if you need to or just little things that you just take along to run with you for errands so that is what fits inside this bag so I definitely think this bag has a vintage feel and you definitely can dress it in a vintage style with more browns, darker burgundy colors, mustard colors but you can also use this on a daily basis in modern um, dressing like the shirt I have here I just have on a uh, regular jean shirt and then some black jeans and of course my dark mountains and then I wore this with the scarf on top I'll show you in a minute to over here what it looks like but that goes well with uh, the modern fashion as well so the versatility of dr uh, dressing this up is um, endless definitely and I really really like the way that it looks at the moment so yes for the summer I think this is the ultimate summer handbag and let's go into some of the clips of what this looks like on my body so that you can see how it fits and see what it looks like on my petite frame all right this to the strap of my bag the reason being is simply because I like the chain strap to be this length the original chain strap is a little bit too long for my liking I like the way um, it falls on my body when I tie the strap up like so I didn't like the original settings because the chain strap was too long and I didn't like how the back fall on my body and where it hits so anyways that's the reason why I did it so if you're wondering how I did this to my strap I've already done a tutorial on how to tie a scarf onto a handbag to um, make it look like this basically I'll link it up here so that you can see it if you haven't um, 
the video that I did that I did it to my business affinity handle right here this is how I tie the scarf on and I use a very similar or exactly the same uh, style to do this one right here except for on this one I uh, folded my straps inside so that it can be shorter in length and then I just wrap the scarf the scarf around it and then I just left the loose end to be a little bit longer versus with this handle right here the scarf is a little bit shorter right there on the end so if you're interested in that check it out I'll link it up here for you Alright BD, so that is everything for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you have any questions for me, link it down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And again, if you haven't subscribed, please do so so we can see each other in the next video. See you later. Bye. I can hear the silence as I'm walking by. Everyone's so quiet. I know the reason why. I'm not gonna hide it. I'm not gonna lie. I know you can see it. Watch your guy yourself.